Kriksis hier. Kriksis. Kriksis. Yeah, I will just tell Kriksis. My full name is Christian. I will start with Kriksis. Welcome to my channel. And yeah, how dirty. Everything's fine. <laughs> and in this video, this will be my first studio vlog because I have a bunch of footage from different places. I'm gonna stick them together. Hopefully that works out. I'm gonna show different clips from process. I'm gonna do small Q&A and also some clips for from outside scenes when I went on a mini holiday trip with my husband. So that's, that will be there as well, a lot of cows. And yeah, like, please watch the video till the end. There are lots of different interesting things happening in this video. I, I feel like I'm selling this uh, video to you. If you are watching it right now, when I published it, my shop is already updated. So you can go to Shop Kixis on Etsy browser or I will put the link down below for my store, it's Shop Quixis and you can just browse it, there will be new products which you can see the process of creation in this video, so you can also, like if you want to support me, I don't know, you can just go there and see the product, if you like something you can buy, if not, like no pressure here, so yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> Also, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. It helps me to reach more people. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to me. I upload every Saturday with lots of interesting content coming on the way. I have a lot of things planned. I just don't want to spoil anything. So if you like calm and peaceful videos or if you want to learn something new or you, if you just want art buddy here on YouTube, just stick with me. <laughs> yeah, and um, yeah, please comment. I really like comments. I, I like, yeah, they're really inspiring. I love what you think. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I will try to answer them. And or if you have any video ideas, please write them down. I'm gonna read every single comment here. Okay, I just got home from the job and I received parcel from my sticker supplier, I guess. But you know what? I decided to film this uh, mini fragment how I opened my package, because why not? And I have super dirty hair, sorry. <laughs> and not sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna open my parcel. And I have like a sample pack from Sticker Up. And the most exciting thing is uh, these stickers, but uh, I'm gonna sell them set, like a set, but I'm gonna cut them with guillotine. And they are, I'm a slow artist stickers. Because I'm really slow artist and I realized I'm drawing snails a lot. So what I decided to do was to draw snails as a sticker and snail being an artist. So basically I am embracing me being a slow artist. So that's... This is so hard to open. <laughs> Just smelling. I'm slow artist and that's okay. Then there is just fox, random fox. Then it's embrace yourself. This is uh, trying my best. And feeling slow today. And just like French artist slash snail. <laughs> French snail. I just decided to do mini speed paint. How I cut my stickers for the shop update. This is this is Monday 26th and I will do shop update in about less than two weeks and I have a bunch of things to do right now. We're all fading after all In a forest we never see Oh
crown It's a dizzying day I would give love to get away It's getting real dark in here Feels like I've been here a thousand to do them because I don't usually record every day I just record one day and then I edit the, the other whole day and then I upload the third day so yeah making a video for the whole week it's a little bit stressful for me with all the things going on in my life but I decided to do like mini what is the name <laughs> shop of the day <laughs> uh, I decided to do like um, mini vlog about my shop update if you are talking about printmaking I I know lino cut as a technique for a long time I just haven't had the time to do it again I had all the materials I had uh, well I bought extra lino cut lino plates because I have like the old style and they're really hard to crave so I bought like soft uh, lino plates but I have colors, I have these um, aquilino printing colors and yeah, they were 6 euros, so I don't know how much in pounds it is I think it's a little bit uh, less in pounds, so like 5 pounds per each and I have primary colors and black and white, so I can mix a range of colors because for printmaking, I really like mix my own colors. So, for example, if I'm like having this one, it's like this enamel yellow color, and it's really interesting and not like in any tube you can buy. It's it's the same like with this green tone, for example. So, yeah, I'm 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 having all the materials. I've been doing printmaking like I learned how to do printmaking things when I studied undergrads and yeah I know lino cut for since 2015 so it's been this is sixth year I know this technique and I like it I just didn't have an, enough time and now when I wanted to make prints for my shop and this printer is not working I thought okay I can just do lino prints so <laughs> This is 
creative way how to avoid printer I guess and if you have if you want to have print in your store so yeah maybe a tip for other people artists up here who doesn't have colored printer and they still want to do some prints for shop try Linocut Hello, it's me, voiceover, and uh, this is uh, my mini q and I. I asked uh, if uh, my Instagram friends could give uh, me some questions I could answer. This will be my first mini q and I, I guess. Uh, so the first question is from Rita, and she asked where do you get inspiration for when you don't know what to draw? And I think they're really like there aren't one right answer like for me I still think I can get inspiration from different sources for example I sometimes just like if I don't know what to draw I look uh, back at my work I did and I skim through all my sketchbooks I check my artwork, the final artwork I liked a lot. Maybe just analyze what I liked, what I didn't like, or which composition it was, which colors I liked, and maybe I could like take something from that artwork and transform it to something else, but connect it somehow. Also, what helps for me is going outside Sometimes, like, <laughs> there are some weekends when I'm, like, so lazy to go outside. Like, I could literally live inside my room for the rest of my life. But when I go outside, I feel full of new ideas and I feel re well rested and I feel more productive the next day after the walks. And I feel during the walks, yeah, it just really calms me down and think about things I like. So another way what I think I decide what to draw when I don't know what to draw is um, just uh, I have like small lists of things to improve or things I want to be better at. So sometimes I just look at those things. For example, I want to improve uh, my line work. So, okay, I could like try to do some line work art, art or maybe I want to improve how I draw animals. So maybe I could do like illustration connected with animals. I, I hope this answered your question. But yeah, I just, there isn't one right answer. Oh, also another thing what I do is I, sometimes I write down the ideas I have because I like ideas came in unexpected ways and I just write them somewhere on scrap paper and maybe if I don't know what to draw I just take the paper about the inspiration I am true believer inspiration comes to us when we do something it comes when you are already in the process and even the process is like when you don't know exactly what to do. Okay, I have a question from Lada. Could you talk about how you use your color swatches? Do you have a swatch library and pick colors from there? And do you make different palette mixes as well? Like, I truly believe that to make good illustration, you don't need all the colors in the world in one artwork. I feel five different color hues no, five different colors or maybe like five different color directions if if that makes sense and that's it for example okay I'm gonna use for this artwork <clears throat> I'm gonna use uh, green blue yellow yeah maybe one red color so what I usually like there is color wheel I usually take from color wheel only like one side and I don't use other side at all and 
I, I don't know, it's just preference of what colors you like. For me, it was really long process uh, discovering which colors I like the most. So now I kind of feel which colors I don't use at all. For example, I don't use pinks and I don't use purples. These are like, I don't know, I'm looking back at my artwork and there isn't any pink or purple color. The only closest color to pink is, uh, I don't know, cheek, cheeks? Cheeks for human drawings? I don't know. I'm trying to think. So, yeah, I'm just, I think I'm sticking to kind of my own color palette and embracing it. I, I remember like, I know a lot of people love like super bright and vibrant colors and I kind of get that, like they're really attractive and they are full of energy, but they also love muted colors and I think they're so gorgeous and pretty. And I was actually avoiding some colors, although deep inside I love them. So now I'm like, no, I love the really pastel greenish yellowish tone, which is like one of my favorite tones. Or like, I really like uh, blue, but grayish blue, light grayish blue. So they're like really specific tones and I'm kind of collecting them together. If I could like suggest someone who haven't found their color palettes yet to to make an illustration, I would suggest actually what I did before. Uh, if you have like illustration books or if you have like artist books and if you like artwork from, from one of those books, you can just um, practice you you can take that artworks work and just try to mix the color swatches from that artwork without any indication of drawing or composition just pure color it's like I don't know if you know in Pinterest there is uh, pictures and some pictures have like color swatches underneath I, I don't know photograph with landscape and then from the landscape there are like the uh, colors picked from that uh, photo so I, I feel you you could do the same um, you just skim through the books and artworks you like and without copying the artwork just picking the color combinations and kind of build the color diary because I think everything depends on taste so which colors you like uh, I don't know. Is that... Is it making any sense? <laughs> I hope it is. Okay, so I have another question and it's from Molly and she's asking who are your favorite illustrators? <laughs> and I feel it's an impossible question because there are so many illustrators I admire and love. And... Okay, I need to mention at least few of them. I cannot pick just one. So I really like Julia Sarte picture books. I really like her book, Marie and Frankenstein, but I, s I have seen a lot of her books and work before. I really like what she, she does and how she creates atmosphere and her compositions are gorgeous and she uses pattern in, in her work in picture books. And she has been my favorite for like a few years now, like since I started really focusing into illustration field. Also, I really like, um, I really like Franard and I feel she is my inspiration and I, I have followed her since 2017. And yeah, she's just, not only her artwork is gorgeous, she's also just like inspirational person and mentor to me. Also, like from Latvian illustrators, Eline Braslinja is amazing illustrator. Also been following her since I was like, yes, I want to do illustration. And she always been there and she's quite well known in, in my country. And yeah, I, I just really like her. Also, I love Andre Letria. I don't know if I'm pronouncing him right. Andre Letria. I just love his work. Um, 
really dynamic and the colors are super desaturated, the, the kind of desaturation I love. I can also answer another question and who is my favorite painter? And I really love René Magritte. Everything he did was so new, so interesting. Not only like this is not a pipe artwork, but in general, all, all his artworks were super inspirational and with this interesting idea. I, I wish I could have like a talk with him or just go on lecture and listen to him. Hello again. So I am now going to print these um, pigeon prints for my shop. So you will see the time lapse probably. writing uh, so the first part just a second so this is the indication of which num which print number you have then it's the title then it's technique then it's my name or nickname and then it's year so it usually goes like that I think it's in every graphic uh, print I don't know if you if you can see it so for example this one e focus so this is uh, 11 from 11th, uh, name is Cozy Place, it's Line Alcott, Grixis and 21. So this is how my prints goes. And it's not only mine prints. When I studied printmaking, all of us did the, sa the same. So I think it's it's good to see these, because first of all you can 
you can clearly see that your prints are unique and also you can uh, know which number you have, the name, you can know technique. So it's really useful I think for graphic techniques and I'm now going to do the same for pigeons. Today is Friday, I'm gonna edit this week's video, finally. I've been trying to do it yesterday, then I started doing new illustration and time just went by when I'm doing a longer illustration. It takes me hours, not to mention days. I can I can show you the illustration which I'm doing, so... Uh, so, okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> so awkward. I'm gonna flip the camera. I'm still in the process, but what I wanted to do is uh, make this as front scene and make it maybe a little bit darker and on the back it's more neutral tones and you kind of can feel that it's in the background. So yeah, it, it's like a autumn scene with uh, mushrooms and then like she's looking at the snails and mother is there so yep this is what I'm doing it's only A4 but it still takes a lot of time for me if you made this far thank you it means a lot also oh I almost forgot I reached 1000 views on my channel which is mind-blowing I didn't thought I will reach this number so fast and also like I have 59 subscribers right now and thank you so much it means a lot to me like not the numbers but that that you are here and you you like my videos or you want to support me thank you bye, 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 bye.